As people look at Wemby and are excited for what he will do in San Antonio, I find myself looking more at Devin Vassell. He has flown under the radar. He was out for majority of last season for knee injury. Started last season out strong, missed two months, returned near the end of the season before being shut down, played in only 38 games, but there is a level of polish and talent Vassell has that makes me think he can be a key guy going into the future of the San Antonio Spurs. He averaged 18, 4, and 3 last season on 55% true shooting. Vassell has good length and size for a shooting guard, 6'5 wing, 6'10 wingspan, solid frame. He isn't the most athletic talent, but he's very smart and has really good feel for the game. Just to start, this dude's feel, his pacing, the way he is able to just flow easily into a shot in space, as well as the high release point within the mid-range is very, very, very good for a young talent. He operates at a 39% frequency in the mid-range. This is a secondary area of attack for him. And he shot 42% in the mid-range, 47% on long mid-range jumpers, jumpers that's outside the free throw line, and that ranked in the 92nd percentile among wings per clean in the glass. He's a guy who can come off of screens and get right into his mid-range jumper. He can handle the ball, operate in ball screens, and punish drop coverage defenders. Really good footwork when pulling up, and he can shoot over anyone and has that tough shot making ability. He has that ability to where he can come off a screen, put a defender in jail, slowing their momentum, breaking away of some acceleration, and then when getting close to the drop defender, utilizing a sidestep to get into his shot, gets the line to the rim and hit a jumper. The ball screen operation has been good when attacking drop, has the ability to snake screens effectively, find his spot, and he has side steps, step backs to create space on his shot for when the drop big steps up or his man recovers, and he's been efficient with that. And some of these shots he makes can be tough, going either direction. Though Vassell is a mid-range threat, there's more areas to grow there. An improvement area in his game right now is the handle. His handle right now is solid. It's gotten better since coming into the league, but once he gets into traffic, he's prone to picking up his dribble. Aggressive defenders and help can get to him and doesn't have that wiggle that can help make him unpredictable with his handle. It's good enough to be functional to get to his spots, but he doesn't create too many advantages one-on-one, -on -one, and to combat the limited athleticism and the lack of a quick first step, he needs a tighter handle to help create those advantages. He more so relies on ball screens rather than being a one-on-one -on -one type guy, and it's great that he has that skill as a mid-range talent, especially the tough shot making ability, because you need that when the game really starts to get tough but you start to wonder if defenses would rather live with him taking those mid-range shots. In the short mid-range area, which is inside the free throw line, he shot 35%, which is a pretty big drop-off. His production when he gets closer to the rim can be better. He shot 61% at the rim last season, and Vassell isn't the strongest guy. He can be prone to burping up some rough shots when attacking the rim, and he doesn't have the best touch around the rim didn't really know how to initiate and absorb contact when there. In fairness, this was an area he was exploring more as an on-ball guy, so the rim pressure may take time to develop with more reps. The three-point shooting is another strength of his. Shot close to 39% from three last season on seven attempts, 43% on catch and shoot threes, really good spot up shooter, a good mover off ball, relocating when he gives up the ball. He's an active cutter. With the frequency Devin takes long mid range shots, there's hope he can improve those into pull up threes where he shot 28% from. Pull up three point shooting is a tough skill, one of the toughest things to master in this league. Devin has explored doing it, but it hasn't had the best results. This is a shot that should come in time because of the feel he has when he's shooting off the dribble in the mid-range. Vassell is a developing playmaker, 3.6 assists on the season, 1.5 turnovers, solid willing passer, but hasn't really been a guy who has made advanced reads, but can make the simple ones. He doesn't show much versatility on his passes, and he doesn't showcase the best court vision that makes me believe he can be a go-to playmaker but could potentially be a secondary one. The timing on his passes has been pretty solid. 
there is good understanding of passing in traffic when he does drive to the rim inside feeds some kickouts but without the consistent rim pressure this doesn't really pop much consistently with him the Spurs defense was putrid last season. The young team trying to figure out their strengths and weaknesses in the system. It happens. They're a growing team. Vassell's defense is going to be the biggest money maker with him. One of the things that made him a lottery pick. Potential to be a legit two-way guy with his growing offensive game which will make him a key cornerstone for the Spurs. Vassell has been solid defensively last season. There's some good tools there to work with to where he could potentially reach the level of a great defender on and off ball. He has recovery skills, always looks to make a play defensively. He does give effort fighting through screens and chasing players around. There has been some slippage in his defensive activity, mostly one-on-one, -on -one. can get blown by at times and can continue to get stronger. He can be moved by players looking to initiate contact. Through his career, he has looked to be good moving, has that lateral quickness to keep up with players, does have the length to contest and make shots difficult for players. The length, effort, movement, and instincts with Vassell makes him a key defender for the Spurs. His instincts off ball, when to help or not, has been there, makes rotations, closeouts, can slide over and make some weak side defensive plays. Positioning on ball as well as handling physicality on defense are areas to improve for him. Definitely has the tools to be a plus defender for that. Definitely has the tools to be a plus defender. Vassell continues to grow as a playmaker. Vassell continues to grow as a player plus team defender who is looking to make strides as a ball handler, takes care of the ball well, but can really improve his handle to help with his shot creation. He has been an improving player each year he's been in the league. 